So today we'll be talking about the transition of India from BS4 to BS6 and its impact on the Indian automobile economy. Now you see BS6 consists of two things, a cleaner exhaust as well as a cleaner fuel. Now let me start with the fuel. A fuel is not some simple liquid dinosaur that ignites in the combustion chamber. Fuel consists of various particles that give it its respective quality. One such important component is sulphur. Sulphur acts like a lubricant in petrol but also the main component that makes our exhaust toxic. Hence a change in content of sulphur will directly result in a cleaner fuel. India started with BS1, went to 2, 3, 4, skipped 5 and went directly to 6. Every increase in the number besides BS meant the fuel that you're putting in your vehicle has just become cleaner. To give you a perspective, BS3 has 350 mg of sulphur per kg, BS4 50 mg of sulphur per kg and BS6 only 10 mg of sulphur per kg. Now this is a massive difference with reference to the lubrication of fuel which means the engine will have to be completely modified to accommodate this change. Along with the engines, the catholic converter in the exhaust will also need to be more stringent for cleaner exhaust fumes to be released. The transition of petrol engines was relatively easy as compared to their diesel counterparts. You see, the BS6 makes the diesel engine 70% cleaner as compared to the petrol which would be only 25% cleaner. This has caused quite a few of our favorite diesel engines to go out of commission including the widely used Fiat sourced 1.2 litre engine that has been used in Fiat, Maruti as well as Tata's. Now the BS6 is a major concern for manufacturers that are predominantly in the diesel lineup of vehicles like Mahindra and Mahindra. They knew they had a Hercules task in front of them for converting the entire lineup of diesel engines from BS4 to BS6. They mentioned that it would not be an overnight job but a well-planned process. In mid-2019, they had a press release showcasing the entire lineup of BS6 engines and surprisingly, they had quite a few new petrol-powered engines that they had designed in-house ground up. This includes a 1.2-litre engine producing 110 horsepower which will be powering Ford vehicles in the future as along with a 3-litre 110 horsepower petrol engine which will be powering their Korean brother Sanyong Motors in the future. Now I feel this is a great achievement for an Indian manufacturer to supply engines to global giants. Mahindra mentioned that they had infused more than 1000 crores to update the entire lineup to BS6 and had changed more than 2000 parts. In order to make their engines more eco-friendly and compensate for the BS6 fuel which has less lubrication, the engine had to run comparatively freer. The visitory in the research and development department helped to decrease the friction levels in the engine, which resulted in the engines running at 30% freer as compared to the BS4 models, which resulted in the BS6 engines being more fuel efficient as well. The now, deadline to clear the stock of BS4 engines was at the end of March 2020, but due to the unforeseen coronavirus disaster, the, the markets were shut down midway of March 2020, which resulted in a stock of more than 7 lakh units of BS4 models unsold. And these 7 lakh units are of the two-wheeler industry itself. I'm not even considering the four-wheeler industry. Now, after multiple requests by the Federation of Automobiles Dealer Association, FADA, the government finally agreed that the deadline would extend 10 days post the economy opens up which means all the dealers had a small breathing period. But there is a catch to it. The dealers can sell only up to 10% of the stock. The balanced stock could either be absorbed by the manufacturers, which could further be disassembled into spare parts, or could be sold in countries where the BS6 or Euro 5 strict norms are still not implied. Worst case scenario, the showroom takes a massive hit. Another question that arises is who will rescue the multi-purpose standalone showrooms that are not affiliated with any brand? How are they going to survive this? Now when hearing about the extension with reference to selling BS4 stock, automobile giant like Bajaj was very upset because they are the first ones that were selling BS6 stocks way before the market started selling them. Bajaj was at a disadvantage as the BS6 stocks were relatively more expensive as the cheaper BS4 stocks being sold in the market by their competitors. It's the same scenario where you're prepared for a test that the teacher informed a month ago and suddenly during the test, the class requests to postpone the test for a week because they were just lazing around while you were busy studying. So far with reference to the two-wheeler market, the Bajaj has cleared most of its stock and Royal Enfield is the only two-wheeler 
manufacturer who has cleared all its inventory with reference to the BS4 market. Only time will tell how the automobile industry recovers from the coronavirus hit as well as the BS4 hit. Thank you.